The rain and clouds are a nice break from the humidity from earlier today. A very warm and kind of steamy day throughout the tri-states as we get a look at our sleep tight weather cam. Carolyn, Mike, it was a little uncomfortable out there, I want to say today. Well, at least it looks better than it did. I took a it peek does, yeah. uh, on, on the sky cam a little earlier today, and boy, you could hardly see anything. There was a, some heavy rain for a wh short while. It did pour right here at the studio for a good, I think, 20 minutes mm -hmm. or so, and then moved off to the east. Some thunderstorms um, pushed around, oh, I don't know, five or so, somewhere like that. We had yeah. some heavy hail, some uh, large hail anyway, and some heavy rains across parts of the viewing area. That has now moved north of us, so now we're going to be watching the skies out to the west for some developing thunderstorms. They'll push in as we head through this evening into tonight. Currently, rain showers ongoing over eastern and southwestern parts of the viewing area here. Moving eastward as we head on through the next, though, I'd say a couple hours, we'll see just some general rains, but the more potent stuff's out west along a cold front that will push in as we head through the overnight hours and we do have some watches up over central Iowa and central parts of Missouri right now for the threat of some storms eventually pushing through. Otherwise, just general rains from Quincy south and west at this hour. Nothing severe out there now. We did have a couple once again strong to severe thunderstorms earlier this afternoon. The heaviest weather now moving out of the viewing area east of Macomb over towards camp. We have a pretty powerful storm there, but otherwise just some rain showers from McDonough County back down through Schuyler County and back into Adams County as well here at the six o'clock hour. Further south towards St. Louis down Highway 61. You've got some strong storms just south of Pike County and some more back over towards Oh, Jefferson City, probably towards Columbia as well. Not too much else going on at this point. We do have plenty of clouds out there. And once again, it's just a slight risk of severe storms that we'll see later on tonight as a cold front will move in from the west to the east. The biggest threats will be some damaging winds and some large hail potentially. A cool front will come through the region as we head towards daybreak tomorrow morning. Behind that front, some cooler air moves in and uh, a little more stable air will also settle across the region as well. So the severe threat will come to an end by first thing tomorrow morning. 68 degrees here in Quincy right now, 74 in Macomb, 68 in Hannibal, 72 up in Fort Madison with 77 in Keokuk. Temperatures took a hit with the rains we saw this afternoon right now. We have a report anyway of a thunderstorm over at the airport, 68 degrees. The winds are out of the south at 21, gusting pretty good so up there at 33 miles an hour. Across the Midwest, 70s and 80s today. It's 82 out in Wichita, 79 in St. Louis, 88 degrees reported up in Chicago. That's toasty hot. 68 though here in Quincy with 80 degrees down to the south in Cape Girardeau. Here is that cold front. It's out over eastern Kansas right now. Some showers and thunderstorms lined up along that front. We'll be lifting east as we head through the evening hours. For now, we're going to see the chances of rain continue on through the overnight hours. Eventually, the front comes through first thing tomorrow morning. A slight chance of an early morning shower. Thunderstorms, partly cloudy skies by afternoon, I do believe, and quiet weather as we roll into the late day hours tomorrow. Temperatures uh, in the 70s and 80s today will be back in the 70s for highs tomorrow. 62 for a low tonight with storms out there, some severe as that front comes through. Winds will be gusting up around 30 miles an hour out of the south. Then for tomorrow, we'll take it up to 73 with partly cloudy skies, a chance of rainstorms mainly early on. Winds out of the west 10 to 20 miles an hour. Your extended forecast looks uh, well, a little unsettled as we head through the next several days. Temperatures will try and warm back up to 80 degrees on Saturday with a 20% coverage of some showers and storms. Mother's Day, of course, is on Sunday. Then we'll see a chance of storms there once again. High somewhere in the upper 70s. I marked out 78 there here in Quincy as we head into Monday and Tuesday. Still just a slight chance of a shower thunderstorm with temperatures there in the 70s. All right. Thank you very much, Mike. By the